Hi, this is Matt reporting to you on day seven of the apocalypse following the Supreme Court's ruling that marriage equality is now the law of the land in all 50 states. We've had beautiful weather all week and the National Weather Service is calling for clear skies with a 0% chance of fire and brimstone. That's right, it's been a whole week and there's been no apocalypse. Though last week's Pride Festival was a party of biblical proportions. The response to the Supreme Court's ruling is exactly what we've been expecting. Rick Santorum is saying to just ignore the ruling as though they weren't the Supreme Court, while Ted Cruz has pledged that his first act as president will be to do away with the Supreme Court. Uh, good luck with that, Teddy. Go read the Constitution. But there's been one reaction going viral on the internet that I can't resist responding to. This is a really sad day for me today. And it's a very sad day for a lot of Christ followers because today our government decided that everything that God created his church to be as man, as woman, Adam and Eve, five justices decided that God was wrong. Uh, no lady, they decided that you are wrong. You know, I hear a lot of people say, you know, you Christians, you know, you're not into the times. You're not, you're not into times. You know, you got to get it's 2015. God did not change. Wow, cool. You mean I can still sell my daughter into slavery? Oh, that's awesome. But do I really have to burn my mother for wearing cotton polyester blends? But hey, look at the bright side. At least I never break that no working on the Sabbath rule. Your word isn't truth. My word isn't truth. God's word is truth. And God says that marriage is between a man and a woman. <laughs> well, that may be what God says, but the Supreme Court says otherwise, and their word is law. I don't care if you think I'm judging you. The fact is, the God of the universe, he is the truth. Jesus Christ, not Muhammad. Oh no, is she going to pick a fight with them too? Hey, if anybody out there has this bimbo's home address, please give it to ISIS or Al-Qaeda. I'm sure they'd love to meet her. It's just like these Islamic extremists. Extremists, okay? They're not just extremists, they're Islamic! <laughs> President Obama, Islamic! Stream extremists. What is this person's problem? Did she take too much of her medication? Are not enough. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think about my opinion because you know what? I could really care less. Wow, that makes two of us. It means that a man and a wife are to be married, okay? Okay. That's what God said. Okay. I'm telling you what God said. Now, if you don't want to like me, but I'm telling you what the God of Abraham, Jacob, has said. And he said that because of your sinfulness, he came to die on a cross because of you. Because of me? You mean because of little old me? Oh, he shouldn't have. No, really, he shouldn't have. The very people that are just like spitting him in his face right now. He loved you so much that he died the sinner's death. Now, someone's got to pay for our sin. He did it on the cross for you. Now is the day that you accept him as Lord and Savior and you ask for forgiveness and tell him, Lord, I made a mess of my life and I need you. Oh, for crying out loud, lady, take up Prozac. Let me finish by saying that as an atheist, my disbelief in God is only strengthened by people like this. Because after all, if there really were a God, I'm sure he would have smitten her sorry ass by now. Wouldn't he?
Do I smell brimstone?